in the forex market you can be right about the trend but wrong about the trade what do i mean you can know very well that the market is a no is an upward trend and then you buy but the market reverses and sell and you can know the market maybe it's a downward trend you sell and the, immediately the market buys in this video i want to show you sniper entries and this will he really help you when it comes to placing the trade and you'll place the trade at the right time when the market has decided to move so guys if you're interested continue watching in this video i want to analyze euro audi this is one of my favorite pairs when it comes to volatility this thing can really move so euro audi daily time frame that's where we start ask yourself what is the story of this market where is the market going because market can do two things it can either go up where it is it can either go up or it can go down there is nothing like or maybe it can consolidate sideways market so you can't come in and say i want to sell because i have seen a bearish candle i want to buy because i've seen a bullish candle no you have to ask yourself this market can either go buy sell or can be in one place so what do i do to um to make sure that i'm on the right side and i enter at the right time because entering the trade is what gives many people a problem so at this moment ask yourself if this market per se it can go down where will it go down to so we can see this market if it can continue to go down this is the zones that we are targeting if this market can go up these are the zones that we are targeting so all we need to do now is to identify those two zones and we we'll use our box so we'll start with where the market is so if the market can come down you see this red candle is the one that the sellers reached that place so we'll just mark that zone like that so if the market can come down that is the targeted zone and how i do my zones i do them in a box and i target a candle a daily candle and i put that candle uh inside the box all of it so if it is hard for you to understand i don't know maybe you rewind and listen again but that's what we do when it comes to zones so for instance you can see i'm targeting this uh the, the if the market starts coming up you can see this is a very bullish candle ask yourself why did we have a very momentum bullish candle but all of a sudden it just stopped it stopped it never moved so this all of this place is a zone so what i do i'll just take my box and i target the whole candle that bullish candle and now i stretch out my box so there i have a zone so the other thing is if now the market can break this zone because if it continue to go up where is the next zone we can see clearly that the market has ever been here and we have this blue candle even green candle even if it's not momentum uh i'll just put it on my box so like that and then stretch it out so at least this is one thing that you need to understand guys at least on daily time frame you need to have three boxes three zones area and i do this on my mentorship program which is paid it's only 400 dollars for two weeks and lifetime mentorship guys 400 dollars two weeks and lifetime mentorship after the course on the mentorship i show you now how to do it because the box for me i can see it clearly but before you see these zones it takes time and practice so guys if you watch this video and you want to have a strategy that is working i recommend that is purely on my students i'm just giving you i'm just giving you like uh one percent of what i teach on my mentorship so um the boxes are three and we can say for sure if the market start coming down we have these boxes as our take profit or as our target and if it can continue down our take profit can be that the beginning of that place so if our market can continue to go up we have two targeted places we have one and we have two so at at least on daily time before you even move to four hour have a clear picture if the market can go where you uh it can go by you already know this market will buy up to this point if it can sell it will sell to up to this point so you know you have a clear mind now 
The other thing that people really don't pay attention is where is your candle? Where is the current candle? Our current candle is this, the red one. This is our current candle. Just push the candle, like take a narrow and pull that candle on your left because we want to see on the left where the candle is on our left side. It, do we have something that can make this bearish candle to just stop like that? Because you know, Candles, uh, they stop or market price just stop moving when there is a zone. So for me, I can see clearly that there is a red candle here. Let me just um, highlight it, um, zoom it. We can see clearly that there is this uh, red candle. You can see this red candle. This is a zone created in the market. And uh, we will focus on that red candle. So I'll just put a small box inside red candle. And it is the one that will govern us or guide us on the entry, guys. So we want to see what the market will behave inside this market. And then the other thing that I need to tell you uh, is that when you have your zones from the daily time frame and then the market comes and, and closes inside that box, higher chances it will go to the next box, the next zone, I mean. So let's go and monitor on four hour on this, on this zone for us to get entries on buy because we need to see if we, we will buy we need to see the zone getting rejected if we, we need to sell we need to see this box getting broken so in this the strategy is very easy and this, the entry will get it very very easy why because if i need to sell that market the, the, the sellers has to break that box. You can see the way the market has rejected that box. So when I go to four hour, now I'm going to look for my sniper entries. And this is what happens, guys. Now I'm here. Uh, before I do that, on daily time frame, you can put moving average to even give you more confluences. And if I put 200 EMA, you can see the market has already broken the 200 EMA and it's like it wants to retest the 200 EMA. So this strategy, even if you don't have the EMAs, it still works. It works magic. So for me to get sniper entries, I need to just identify my zones. For moving average, I'll put the moving average to give me more confluence. So I'll just remove it, go to four hours. So when you go to four hours, now we want to look for uh, the reaction. How will the market react to this box? So the market is dropping and all we can see is that if the market has entered the box, it will continue to drop. So which candle do we think this market can drop to? So at where the market is, we have two, we have two, three candles that we can pay attention. We have this big candle, the red one, we have the doji and we have the last one. So we cannot come to this and create a box. You know what people see, they see this candle, they'll create the box like that. Let me uh, reduce the opacity. They'll create the box and I make the color different like purple. So they will they will see this box, they will see this red candle and create a zone. But what they don't know that the market has, the price can, can bounce to this candle and can bounce also to this candle. So because my market is there, if I stretch my, if I just stretch my arrow, which candle is touching my arrow? That is just something I've done, I've come up with and it is working so which candle that is touching my arrow is this red one so let me focus on four hour on this red candle because i'm asking myself if this market continue to drop where can it drop to so the market uh i want it to drop to that box so if it breaks this box now we can pay attention so just right here monitor the zone so we are monitoring monitor the zone so we will monitor that zone because the market will, can tend to misbehave when it comes to this place. So if you don't have this box, in, whenever the market enters this place, you just want to see how is it coming uh, forth. So we have already identified our take profit. And let's say you want to buy all the way from this zone to where our TP is. You can see so many pips, 364 pips. So what I tell people is that take half of that box and target uh, half of it. Target half of it. And then now I will put a line like that 
to target half of that and then we put the price so half of that box even if i scroll like that and i highlight this box and i look for a, a, an indication to tell us where the zone is you can see let's see if i create a box if it will conference with my highlighted box so guys i hope you're understanding this is a bit complex but if you get this your life will change so you can see it is in the zone so you can either do half or come to the history look where the market has indication like a green candle on a downward trend and then you can see that so this box is our first take profit this is our second take profit tp3 so you have all those tp in place and then now we want to look for that sniper entry and we know we need to observe the the box so let's play this thing and see what really happened on the box so you can see even the first candle the first candle tried to get in and it was rejected let's see the second candle so the second candle again get got rejected so what i have written here i've said monitor the zone that's what i've said monitor the zone at this moment we don't want to enter because remember the person who saw the green candle the green small candle and they entered by now they are 12 hours inside the market so they can be right about the trade uh the trend the trend is by but wrong about the trade if they entered by and it's 12 hours and they still the market still pushing down they'll close the the trade and what happens the market will start coming up so we can see the market pushing up at this moment we won't enter you see at this moment we are not entering why the market has not broken our box because the box is what it governs us if it breaks down we enter sell if it breaks up we enter buy now we know the box has uh, broken so we just want a retest at this moment you're not entering and that's what i'm saying if you want a sniper entry patience has to be employed you need to a lot of patience so let's see if we get the retest of this market so the market is coming back down you can see the market is coming back down all along you are, you're monitoring because if you have your zones there's nothing else so we are monitoring the market and uh, now this is what happens so the market tend to retest but it didn't come to our zone so we can enter with this market why we know the market is not coming back the reason is the market gave us a clear indication when it broke the box so the the retest may never come back so if you look where the market was stagnating this is what i say if you start seeing red candles just pick your your arrow and look to the left you can see this candle so all along we were hoping the box are uh, to be retested but all what they were doing they were trying to retest this box you see the, the 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 red candle and the market has refused to uh, it has failed to retest that box so what i do here i'll just enter a buy and target my zones so let's see if i enter long position if i will be uh i'll be strained like someone who really entered uh here on this candle so if I enter here, this person had had waited one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight times four, a whole day holding a market a whole day. And for me, that's my first take profit, my second take profit, and my third. So we can even target to the third profit, enter three trades, put different take profits, and now observe the market. Leave it, and uh, your stop loss should be the, that low, should be that low. So let's see what happened after that. Uh, after now you have entered the trade so let's reduce that so let's see what happened so the market still came and retested the box you can see for me uh the, the market came and 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 did another retest if i can remove i can i can hide you can see after these two candles the market came up and tried to retest that box so all along they were paying attention on this box and that is what uh that is what i'm telling you guys all along they were paying attention on this not this immediately it broke this box re, uh stopped to be relevant so the market now i think it is ready to move up so let's see if our first tp will be hit 
So the first tip is almost to be hit. Uh, now the first tip is hit. And uh, if it continues to approach, will it, will it approach to the the second tip is hit. And now we are waiting to see if the third tip is hit. And as this market is approaching where? To, to It's approaching to retest the box. If I remove this, the market is approaching to retest the box so that it can continue to go up. So guys, this is something I, I want to tell you. If you want to be entering trades that are accurate, just know that the zones are very important in the market. If you didn't understand quite much about this video, it's okay. You need to practice and do more practice or join my mentorship, which is $400. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. And until next time, bye-bye.